What's good, y'all? I'm going to try something different today. I'm going to try using trend lines uh, for the majority of my strategy versus supply and demand, but I'm still going to incorporate um, some of those things. So we got June 22nd. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, just do the 15 minute down. I think that we can get this going um, in a fun way. Uh, I'm going to mark also mark out my levels a bit differently than normal. I'm really just testing something for myself here pretty much. June 22nd on gold. So if I go to gold right now, hopefully I don't have everything all marked up. See, I got a bunch of trend lines marked up over here on gold. So I'm just going to remove that right now. And then we'll go to June 22nd. And I'm just going to go to the 415 uh, or something like that. And we'll look at the 15 minute now. And this is pretty darn crazy right um so what we have here is we have like this massive breakout of these lows here so what first i want to do is mark out this this red wick here as an area of interest that we can come back to and then i'm going to mark out the top of the, the the wick here now i think this has been already tapped by this wick so i do want to go lower and see if there's something we can find uh, that hasn't been tapped there and it looks like this is this would be a good I mean it's, it's good for the four minute so we're gonna do that there you may ask why I'm doing this but I'm I'm, a, I'm just gonna roll with it basically I want to see if we can get the inside of these wicks here as a area to bounce from so uh, <laughs> it might be confusing but hey man I'm testing stuff out at least I'm trying <laughs> So I go to the 415 candle. There we go. We are bouncing from this area of supply that we have here. And uh, basically what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to mark this as a trend line here on the 15 minute. And, uh, you know, if price continues to break above, then we got other problems to worry about, <laughs> but I think that'll be our ceiling for now. Um, and then, you know what, we can we can draw a really steep trend line here. And the way I draw this stuff is for the trend lines, I do white wick to white wick on top. And then for the, um, for the bottom, I actually do red wick to red wick. So it would be this way here. And then so far we just have an insanely steep trend line that's like super stupid right now uh, that just cuts all through that price and I don't think that's sustainable for price for very long so hopefully we can keep breaking down I mean if we go to the five minute that it's less stupid you can actually draw like something like this if you wanted to I'm not gonna do that I mean I guess I could since it makes a little bit more sense but I just I don't know five minutes don't seem to, to do much for me so on the one minute, you know, we have all stupid stuff. Now we've drawn all the lasers from heaven. Um, and so, or or hell, <laughs> from the bottom. And uh, now we're just kind of waiting to see what happens. So what I like to do with these trend lines is then I like to use them as an area of um, supply and demand. Uh, area supply, like use them with an area of supply. So um, what I'll do... Uh, as we go forward is I'm going to anchor my trend lines against the red wicks here and then once we break out I will look for a return to the last area that uh, last supply or demand area that was there before the breakout so in this case it would most likely be something here that I would trade off of but um, I'm not going to anchor off of this because the trend line to me is too uh, steep right now and I need like I need more information basically but uh it looks like it might have could have worked um let's see so because if we had drawn this trend line here you know i might have probably gotten taken out here because i might have entered here but i think this would have been the best area in any case like i said it's too it was too steep so instead we're going to actually um we're going to keep going or keep clicking through so we can find a good trade here it's stalling there. I really like that it's stalling there. I want to sell down into this steep 15 minute trend line that we had. 
but uh, I'm not going to do that. So that's not what we're testing today. <laughs> uh, okay, so here we go. We finally got something that we might be able to anchor against. Uh, the only thing is, is that it, it's kind of tricky to see. So I would most likely draw the trend line from here to here because this is the last up thrust. This is the clearest move I can see. I mean, we can also do this, but it's literally the same, like exact uh, grade, right? The only thing that is different here is that it's just what, what point we're starting from. And honestly, this would be all the same area of supply for me. So I would either enter a trade from here or here and honestly I think I'd be here because this actually led to the break of structure however <laughs> it could very well come up here this is also risky because you know we're we're in a massive uptrend right so we're we're kind of we're kind of doing things that we probably shouldn't be doing right now in fact we probably should be uh, anchoring this way as well just to draw you know a trend line from the top and just see what we're what we're working with so you know I, I, i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna wait i'm gonna wait and see what happens here because i know i'm being confusing now i'm just because i'm just talking to myself at this point so let's see us pop back up to this trend line writing that 15 minute steepness that we that we drew okay so now we're hitting that one minute again uh and we still haven't gotten our pot back up there we go now let's see if we can get a rejection from here. If we do, then I can uh, take the trade, but we don't. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna look for a rejection from up here because this actually hasn't like had much go on in it. Uh, and I know this is giant, so shoot. Basically the better way to trade this would be just to respect the fact that this upward trend line broke and then take you know this area of demand here look for entry there but I have the hubris in me today so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sell down at least down into here so let's go down to the 30 second and see if we have anything that we can see we do have an area of supply up there let's see if we can find something else uh, yeah there's not much else I mean this we're, we're about at missing price right here so you know if we start to get something going maybe we can try something but we are just pushing up. What I'm looking for is a quasi. There we go. And so I'm actually going to enter here on the 15 second based off of this whole push up um, and this zone of supply and the fact that I made a quasi on the 15 second. And I just want to sell down into this area of demand on the one minute. Down into this trend line, honestly. Let's see what we got. Okay, just clicking through on the 15 second. Um, deciding if I want to break even, uh, normally I would in real time. So now that we've pulled back a little bit, I will break even this trade here. Uh, let me just mark this as red for my stop loss and we'll keep going. Okay. So we got taken out of break even. That's unfortunate. I, I, I still think it comes our way. I probably should have waited, uh, just impatient, I guess. Oh, maybe I was right for break even. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. So now we just popped out of the top. And if you guys like watch me, then you know I consider this a liquidity grab because I believe this is a 15 minute move. In fact, let's go. Let's go back a few candles. Oh, you know what I forgot? You know what I forgot? I forgot my back test helper. Um, but let's go back a few candles. This is around 528. Let's look at what this looks like on the 15 minute. So. We'd be wicking out of the top up here, right into that trend line, that 15 minute trend line. And you know what? I think that's actually something good to note. Let's go back to that candle. Um, glad we broke even there. And now we have this here. And what I'm going to do is I am going to be very risky about this. Um, uh, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to go down to the 15 second again. I'm going to wait for possibly a red candle or some kind of rejection uh, just above here, possibly at the previous daily high, or if we get like a double top or multiple wicks at this trend line, then I will enter the trade. What the heck just happened on my candles? That was weird. Okay. So we got a red candle there. Uh, another one. 
Um, it's kind of stalling, but not stalling in the way that I like. That's not the wicks. That's not a wick either. And we just kind of keep pushing. So that's that disrespect. That's that disrespect. There's no liquidity grab right there. Um, and we kind of, <laughs> well, I guess we could have just bought this bullish trend line. Uh, we made a quasi on it, <laughs> but hey, you know, that's how it is. So here we go. I think what's going to happen now, if we get back to this trend line, I think price is just going to dump through it. We got the liquidity grab. We're at the London previous high. If I get a right shoulder here, like say, now that we've pushed up a little bit, we made like a peak. If we make an up candle and then another down candle, I will enter on that. Okay, we got some up candles, no down candles yet. That's not it. And if that closes like that, I like that. So I'm going to enter here. I know we're catching a rising knife at this point, but what I'm going to do is just sell right down into here. I honestly think that we actually take the, uh, the five minute trend line that we drew rather than the, uh, three minute, but, uh, uh 15 minute, but let's, let's actually just be, not be as cocky. Let's just take our one of threes. I mean, that's right at our zone of demand down here. I'm going to remove this. I think the trend line uh, hasn't fully held yet above it. So let's see what happens. Let's see if our liquidity grab worked. Maybe I should break even. Let me remove this line. I'll put it out of the way just in case we need it. Okay, I'm, I'm clicking slowly, building suspense. I'm still deciding if I want to break even here because we are against counter trend, uh, we are against trend, and we uh, are kind of bouncing from this previous area, so we have to go back up here to bounce again. But I, I'm really strong, I'm like really firm on these liquidity grab moves now. Like I've been trading them live, and they, uh, they work out pretty well most of the time. And there we go. So we got our one to three. Um, let's see if it goes to our next, uh, our next, uh, area that we thought it would go to. So I, if just to recap that trade, um, we, the difference with this trade is that we grabbed the 15 minute liquidity and we ran the trend line uh, of the 15 minute, but then we made our quasi and with those two confluences, right? Um, price isn't perfect. It can reject from anywhere. Like if you just think even of these trend lines as a zone, then basically you have, <laughs> you know, you have an area that things can happen in. And, um, you know, since price isn't perfect, you're just kind of looking for those patterns. So now let's keep going. We do have this area of demand in here that we were selling into. And we just broke under this 15 minute trend line, but once again, you know, since we're in an uptrend, we don't want to get too cocky. So let's let's keep going. It did go to our five minute trend line like we were thinking. Let's see if it bounces. It does. Um, <laughs> Should have held. <laughs> That's OK. Uh, let me let me turn on my back test helper because it's actually throwing me off now. So if I go over here and we do sorry for the intermission but i need it june 22nd and then i think 14 1 15 there we go okay so let's see what happens here we run the zone of demand full bodied and we just you know do a nice bounce let's see what happens if gold rejects from here um, I want to remove this trend line for a second because we know in our heads that this bounces here. Um, and we're bouncing right pit perfect off that damn five minute trend line that we drew. And now if we go back to our initial rules of the one minute trend line or any trend lines I've been drawing, if we were to anchor here and we just anchored against this up move before this break, then we could actually see, make a case to enter here. Now, the only thing is, if we break above this high, uh, we also have, you know, uh, b b uh, all right, so 
there's a few thoughts in my head and it's gonna it's really crazy in my head right now uh yeah, i wish i could turn the thoughts off but we have this one here which is this big old up move we had this reaction already from here and now we're pushing down right we pulled down here we, we bounced off of this so now we have this crazy stuff going on here where we could have anchored against this and now we have this area of trend where it has not been mitigated at all so we have that area of supply and we also have this area of supply and I, I know my charts are messy right now but we're testing something new damn it <laughs> so I'm gonna remove this area of demand we know that it bounced there we probably should have taken this buy last time. We probably should have taken this buy here, but you know, we we we're we're adamant that we sell down some more, even though everything else is telling us that we don't. Once we get to this area here, I'm gonna go to the 15 minute candle and we're gonna see what happens. Why is that 637 though? That don't make sense. Oh, because I have it. Well, 14, and then I got my math wrong, y'all. So it's actually uh, here. <laughs> it's got a while to go. That's a nice wick. Um, I'm going to refrain from entering, even though I think it'd be a good chance. It, you know, she got me. If, if, I, if I lose this here, she got me. She got me. I like all these rejections in this area. That's one of the areas we we try. I would do this in real life. I'd get baited so hard into the into the jungle over here. I'd just be like, all right, that's it. She got me. Come on. I, I knew she got me, y'all. That's my fault. That's my fault. She got me. She enticed me with her riches. Um, that was, uh, she said, you can have riches beyond your wildest dreams. And I was like, okay, cool. I'm going to delete this trend line. It don't make any sense now. I'll delete this trend line too. The only one I'm looking for. Oh. The only one I'm looking for is this current one right here. Let's see if we get a rejection. Oh, uh, we got a near miss. Okay, bouncing off the bottom of the trend line, coming back up here. Let's see what happens. Okay, we put. Okay, we pushed twice. Let me move this over. Um, this is something I want to enter. I like that we're rejecting a lot here. However, the only thing I can say is that we just massively rough structure. Um. And it's funny because like <laughs> I, my brain is still saying sell, but we just broke structure. Oh, but we're on the 15 minute candle. Thank, thank, thank you. I am going to take a look at that. Um, this is a crazy wick, right? This is a crazy wick down into this five minute trend line that we drew. Um, honestly, I want to see what happens as we continue. Um, I still think we drop the reason the reason being is because it's just created like there's a lot of a lot of orders sitting here right at this trend line and I, I feel like I'm missing a lot of buys here by not just taking things from the the higher time from trend lines in fact let me redraw a 15 minute one like what would that look like right we have uh, if we were anchoring it to the last up move it would actually still be pretty similar to what we had before that really steep one but I want to try something I want to try doing this here because I want to see what that looks like on the lower time frame. And if we get pinched around here and we get pushed down past this, I think we have a nice explosive move to the downside. Is it worth selling from here? That's the question we're trying to answer. And I think it is. I think it is. It's uh, there's already been a lot of rejection up here. I feel like my stop loss would be mostly in a safe spot. Um, the only thing I don't like, actually, no, I do like this because we are still in the zone of supply right here. So I think, yeah, I think I'm going to take this trade and I'll, I'll either take it and lose or I'll take it and we're going to, we're going to do a nice win. I'm going to take it down here if I can. I don't, I, I just wish that I, I was more patient and I think I have to work on that while I do, especially while I do these back tests because um, the move that we're looking for needs to look something oh shoot it needs to look something like let me let me turn this yellow so it's actually easier to see these look something like this you bounce down here you come back up maybe you do some nonsense and then you drop again or you 
you you come down here to possibly retest like one of these levels so either this level here or this level here you go up a little bit we don't clear the wick then you come back down maybe you do that and then you bounce again and then you start pitfalling like you know you do go free fall right after that um that's kind of what we're counting on when we when we do take this cell here so uh, we can either wait for those types of moves or we can just enter and i'm gonna uh, choose the aggressive option so we just hit the zone of demand that we were talking about here's the pop and we did not get the move that we that we needed because we did not wait so this is a negative one But we're trying stuff out. We're getting it going. Uh, we're, we're bouncing off the back side of that trend line, which is kind of cool. Um, I still am looking for cells, but uh, we might just keep going uh, for a while. Uh, this 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 move was massive. Like bouncing off this five minute, massive. And we just did another liquidity grab that I that I neglected. Um, so that's awesome. <laughs> So uh, let's uh, let's clean this up a little bit. Let's remove some of these trend lines, and let's redraw our. Uh, you know, let's 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 start it off right again. Uh, so normally I would anchor it like that, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this instead. I'm going to start from this, and this is what we're going to do. We're just going to sell from the top. So from this one to this this one so these two and then we break under uh top of the red candle closed under it and you know once we get back up in there into the zone of uh supply we'll just sell oh that is so i didn't account for that wick happening like i didn't account for this type of move uh i'm gonna sell here because we just made a quasi uh, right after the liquidity grab, just like we did on the other one. I was just clicking too fast again. Um, I don't think this trend line is going to matter, but let's see. So once again, we're just going to take it to the bottom of this here, and then we'll decide if it, if it runs, we'll decide if we want to trail. But this was a double, like a, a second liquidity grab from up here. Um, so I'm thinking we keep going for a while. Okay, so one thing I don't like is that we're actually bouncing from this zone of supply here or near it and that kind of scares me. Let's see where one to three is. Okay, so one to three is right at the trend line. I still think we dump it and if we dump it, we, we dump lower. So I'm just going to uh, move my, my take profit out of the way until I can decide what's going on. Yep, I don't like that move. <laughs> The, the V shapes are, are killer on gold. But if we drop away from here, I'll just break even. And we'll trail our stop loss. Okay, so I'm going to break even now. So stop loss is at break even here. We're just going to keep holding it. So keep clicking. Um, <laughs> This is like... This is uh, kind of a, a, a wild move because it's so slow. Um, would really not to like to start breaking higher from this trend line. That would be very sad for our sell. I'm going to keep clicking because I don't think that it breaks higher. And let's go and check the five minute and what that looks like in relation to this trend line. So in the five minute, we actually just closed um right under right under this uh trend line that we had drawn out here so i do think this gets run um and it'll probably get run to the next at least the next five minute level so i'm gonna mark this here uh this is the next five minute red wick slash missing price area here uh so let's see what happens i i hope that i'm not being too like aggressive with this but i do kind of want to see how well this works and how well I'm I'm reading today. I don't think I'm reading that great. Let me look at the 15 minute here. The 15 minute looks amazing. 
15 minute looks wonderful. In fact, if it comes back up here on the 15 minute, I'm in trouble anyways. Um, let's move, let's, oh shoot, what did I just do? I wanna put a red here, or purple here, just to see where, where that looks like. Okay, I think that's a good place to move my stop anyways. So I'm gonna move my stop, just this over here. I just realized like how messy my charts are. <laughs> Actually, wait, is this even one-to-one? -one? What am I doing? Let me just leave this at break-even. Let's not move anything. Let's keep going. Thinking too much. <laughs> okay. So, we want to be aware of the danger that exists within this big area of demand. And we just want to be cautious once we get here. Uh, I think what I want to do is I want to move my stop loss to uh, one to three once I, once I get here. One to three would be about where this is right here. So we already hit one to three, but we didn't lock anything in. Uh, what I've been doing actually on live is I've been taking 80% off of the trade at one to three, but I don't know how to do math. So um, I don't do that in back testing, but I take 80% off of one at one to three and then I break even. Let's keep going. Okay, we just made a V shape. I don't like that move for our trade. Plus, it's now we're in the uh, New York end of New York session. Let's see where we're at. So we're just above. We're just under one to three. Um, I think I do want to move my stop, but I think I'm going to lock in one to two because that is around here. And then we'll keep letting this, we'll keep letting this run. So one to two, which would be here ish, here ish. Uh, hopefully that's right. And then we'll just let it run down because we do think it goes lower. Our one to two is here. And if I, if I, if I get three, if I only get three R on this, then at least, uh, it'll be, it'll have been a fun journey. Uh, there's a few more trend line entries we could have done in here, but I, I really want to see if we can, if we're right about, uh, some of these areas. So let's see what happens. Okay. So let me. Let me go back to the uh, this area, and we're gonna put our our take profit back to where it was, which is right here, around this area of demand, which should be around f almost five and a half. So let's see what happens. If we get back to our stop loss, that would suck. That sucks, <laughs> but that's okay. So we we give up we give up one R ish. But that's okay. Um, not too upset about it. Or we gave up like one and a half. I think that was a good try. I think it's it's worth to like, you know, worth it to just lose one to take the risk and try to get, um, you know, uh, three more. It's like six. <laughs> See, I don't know how to do math. You don't even know what's going on. So this is probably the messiest my charts have ever looked. Uh, we're almost at the end of my usual session, but let me see if I can find another trade. Looks like we've made three R this session, which isn't as good as our normal supply and demand trading, unfortunately, uh, mainly because we kind of made some mistakes along the way, took some risks we didn't need to take, but it actually turns out that the, the best trades were um, probably from the assumption of these liquidity grabs, which is pretty cool. Uh, I don't know how much the trend lines helped. We could have actually, when we had the 15 minute trend line drawn here, we could have taken a buy from here and we could have taken a buy from this five minute. Uh, we saw that the trend lines were very well respected on um, on this time frame, and we could have we actually missed out on profits because we just didn't trust to you know the knife catch from there. And of course, you know we fall back on our liquidity grabs and stuff like that, which is fine. Uh, I'll click through a little bit more and see if we can find something, but otherwise, uh, this might be it. I'm going to draw some trend lines down, and we'll just do it like this. 
you know, we leave, we left a lot of orders down here. So I'm wondering if we just start dumping from up here somewhere. Like, cause if you draw a trend line up this way, if we anchored it against the last up moves here, right? Oops, what's going on? Then this would be the, uh, you know, this area here would be our area supply where we'd probably look for a trade from. So like you would be taking this trade here, but I'm not going to do that. It's like pretty much 11 o'clock and that's where I'd be done with my back test normally anyways, but I'll, I'll see what happens at least. Looks like we, uh, we wick the high of it or we just get in there and then make a head and shoulders and then we possibly start dropping. Interesting. Okay. So we keep dropping and do we do we run the lows? That's what I really want to know. I'm going to hit play. It's actually taking a lot longer than I thought, but it is at the end of the session. So I just want to see if like if we entered from this area supply, would we run the lows down to this Asia previous high? And it looks like we would have. So I could have very well taken that trade and it would have been fine. That, that would have been based off of our our, uh, our trend line area. So based off of this here, never being tapped back into, and then we could have taken a trade from here. But as it stands, I got 3R in the session. I'm sorry for all of the mess. I really wanted to test this out. I thought it was a lot of fun. I hope you have fun too. Thank you.